Hello, so I haven't been on here to do a video in a hot minute or a few months, maybe. I kept going in my mini happy planner, but I was starting to get really bored. It happens to me every time I try anything. I just get bored after a few months. So now I'm looking at options for 2019. I'm going to take a break for the rest of this October and just focus on eating healthy and exercising, but not really locking anything down. Uh, my friend gave me this Recollections Ring Binder Planner, and I'm definitely going to use this for my regular personal planner for 2019, but I thought I might get some inserts to also use it for my fitness. Um, but I already have another planner in here for the kids' school stuff, so it's already kind of full. And I'm not sure if having everything in one planner would just be so super boring. I wouldn't keep up with it for very long. <clears throat> it's funny because I never get bored with like my personal planner or my work planner. It's only fitness and eating I get sick of. Uh, anyway, then I've also gotten a little obsessed with bullet journaling. I haven't actually really done it myself, but I've seen so many videos and Facebook groups and spreads that other people have done. And I thought, well... Maybe that would be a good way to not get bored because you're kind of making your own layout each month and if I get tired of something or logging it a certain way, I could change it and do it however I want. And I also really have been enjoying my creative journal and the painting and writing things out like that and I've done that for this whole year and I haven't gotten tired of that at all. So I thought maybe something just plain where I can paint in it and do my own thing might be a little bit better. And then I was looking at which which planner to buy, or which bullet journal to even buy, and I ended up getting the Scribbles That Matter, the A6, the small one, because I thought, well, I can toss it in my purse, because that's always been a problem. The, even the Mini Happy Planner was too big to like just carry around with me to log in food, and I was missing stuff and trying to fill it out all at night or using my fitness pal and then thinking, why should I even do this twice? It's already in here. So I, I got the small one so that I could take it with me. And I went ahead and set up a spread for November just to try it out. And ugh, I worked so hard on the lettering because I'm still learning how to hand letter and I'm not very good. And I was working so hard on it that I totally missed the M in November. So it does say November, but I don't, I don't care. I just left it because what can I do? So these are kind of cute. They have like a, this belongs to page. And then they have the key page, which I'm not going to use, I don't think, because I'm not going to actually use like a true bullet journal type trackers and things. Um, then it has an index and the pages are numbered so you can put in what page you start things on. So here is my November. Um, I painted some floral wreaths and fall colors and put the month here and then I worked so hard and forgot the M like an idiot. But oh well, it's still pretty. Okay, this is how I decided to set it up. A fairly big box for my food and then a smaller box for my exercise. It's enough room. I don't do a lot of different exercises. Most things I would do would be like Monday and Wednesday is my ballet class and then I might do some extra ab work or some extra stretching. So I think this will actually be enough room. I thought about just making this a fitness journal period and just writing down like maybe two pages or two days to a page and just what I did for fitness. But it's really not a lot. I would just say like arms and abs or legs and abs. I don't want to write down every exercise I do. That would take forever and just seems kind of stupid. So I got the bigger steps, not the mini one, but the classic planner size. And then um, some of it's fall. I didn't really have a theme. I mean, I used fall stickers on some of it. I'm going to weigh in on Fridays. Um, and then just record steps. I might change uh next month or december and do my sleep and my water intake again but i have so many of those stickers but at the same time like i'm really good about my sleep and 
my water. I drink a ton of water, so I don't really see why I would need to do that. Um, again, there's really not a theme. I just stuck some cute stickers on wherever. Some of them are fitness, some of them are flowers, some of it's washi tape. I didn't really, but all, the whole month I did in this setup, so I can log my food. It's a much bigger space per day than I was getting in the mini happy planner. There I was only getting a few lines, and sometimes I'm more of a snacker. I don't really eat a full meal. I'll just have multiple small snacks. So that's how I ended up. I think it's going to be a lot more space for my food than what I had before, even though the book is much smaller because I'm doing just one page per day instead of trying to fit multiple multiple pages. And it gives me a chance to practice my lettering and try and get better. Um, I think that's as far as I've decorated. I've written out the whole month. But I haven't decorated anything past here. And we'll see. Like The thing I don't like about it is that the cover is so plain, and I don't know... I mean, it's hard and kind of a strange texture, so I'm not sure if I can put anything on there and have it stay. Or, like, do I want to put anything on there? Because then I'll just get sick of that halfway through. I don't know. We'll see. And since I'm doing a page per day, I don't think it's going to last as long. Like, it won't, I won't be in this book for a whole year, which I think might help the boredom. Like, if I finish it, I can switch to something different and do the same type of thing, and then I can switch to another one, and maybe that'll help fight being bored <clears throat> anyway so I think that's what I'm going to do for 2019 and I can't even believe it but I would be in just two planners for everything this next year instead of having I think I had four going this last year so it'll be a change but I think it's going to be a good one anyway I'll see you guys later bye